Coming up next, it is a light heavyweight championship fight between Jared Cannonier and Jan Wachowicz. Ready. You ready to fight? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's going to be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Nice punch lands. Blahovich has got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Oh, misses with the jab. Vlahovic has got the tie clinch now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Vlahovic. Punches blown. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just misses there with the left. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Swing and a miss with that punch by the Alaskan Jared Cannoneer. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Just missed with the left there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Back and forth we go! So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Jared Cannonier. Real quick leg kick. He has absorbed a lot of power shots. Big punch lands over the top. Oh! I was going to follow this one. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Both guys landing big shots. All right, so Jared Cannonier with a window of opportunity here. Beautiful jab to get the striking party started. Beautiful jab. And watch him to follow with leg kicks. Remember the kick against Anderson Silva? He blew his leg out. Anderson had to be carried from the octagon because of the kicks of Jared Cannonier. He's a big, powerful guy. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Cannonier gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Yeah. Round two next. Great work. He won that last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. You ready to fight? You ready. Second round here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Oh, wow. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. His lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. So we call on the numbers here, DC. 55 total strikes have landed for the killer gorilla, Jared Cannonier. And if you care, just over 40% on the connection rate thus far. 41% accuracy tonight. Nice little yes, man. And a strong outside leg kick there. Oh! Oh! 
just misses with a left hook there. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Nice punch here. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Wahovich. That punch, no good. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a... Oh! He's out! He got him! What a performance! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win.